William Martin Ernst Rohr was born on the 19th of May 1877 in Metz, alsace lorraine which was part of the German Empire but is now part of France yet again. Willy Rohr attended a military school in Binsberg and Karlsruhe before being transferred to the Prussian Hafkedeten Alstaten or the Central Officers School in Lichterfeld, Berlin. He joined the 3rd Magdeburg Infantry Regiment No. 66 as a second lieutenant in 1896. From 1899 to 1903, Rohr was assigned to the NCO school in Potsdam and became a battalion adjutant and later a regimental adjutant. In 1906, he was promoted to the first lieutenant, and after working as a teacher in the infantry shooting school in Wutschdorf from 1911 to 1912, Rohr was then transferred to the 10th Rhineland Infantry Regiment No. 161 in Thiers and was then promoted to a captain. At his request, in 1913, he was transferred to the Guards Rifle Battalion in Krauschlichterfeld and served as a commander of the 3rd Company. In World War I, he fought in the 3rd Company on the Ain in Champagne and in Hotzmann in Willenkopf. In 1915, Hurl was then transferred to Major Kalslaw's detachment and then formed the Loretto Front with two other pioneer companies. These fought unsuccessfully and the battalion was then renamed to the Sturmabteilung Kalslaw and their leadership found other employment in the Army Abteilung Kranti. The decimated storm detachment was then recalled to the Kaiser Stroll by command of General von Falkenheim the captain, who was then brought in from the Guards Rifle Battalion and was temporarily in trust with their command on the 30th of August 1915. The previously unused Kaiser Stroll became the training ground and the birthplace of the Storm Truppe. The effectiveness of the detachment was then improved by re-equipping it with machine guns and flamethrowers. Crow introduced a steel helmet already in use by the enemy to the Storm Battalion or the Short Troops. Rohr's newly developed tactics were based on his experiences at the front and made a great contribution to the development of the assault team tactic. Major Redeman or Hoffman Redeman was the first to designate his existing flame squads as Short Troops. They are both regarded as the originators of the concept and the birth name of Short Troops or better known as Storm Truppe. Hro neglected the tactical training of the army up until the Battle of Verdun. The successful testing of the new methods were carried out by the Infantry Regiment No. 187, west of Kalmar and the Vosch. The Storm of Taolong Hro was then committed to the reconquest of Hartmann Willenkopf in December 1915. When its next deployment, the attack of Heinstein failed, it withdrew from the front to carry out more extensive preparations. After completion of the preparations, the place was captured with the help of two regiments and experienced with battle, Nosch 188 and Nosch 189 in January 1916. By successfully employing the Storm Detachment in various sectors of the front, Army Detachment Grande trained itself and other stationary troops. In December 1915, the first training course of the techniques were held in the General's presence in Schlusslusberg and Akharin. As a result of its success, the detachment was then moved in February 1916 to the Fifth Army, or Crown Prince Wilhelm's Army, to take part in the Vardon Offensive. Because of its high losses after resulting from the lack of cooperation with the units, the detachment was then withdrawn after a short period of time. Captain Rohr spoke to the command of the post of General Command No. 3, or JK03 in Nulul Point on the 13th of March 1916, before General von Luckau, the Chief of Staff Colonel Witzel, and La Major von Stucknagel. Then that's about the failures of the daily attacks. Hro attributed it primarily to the infantry's inexperience with hand-to-hand -hand fighting. Hand grenades have been left lying in the woods. The infantry had not touched these because they have not been trained in their noose. Also, he considered the cooperation between the infantry and their accompanying weapons such as the machine gun and light mortars to be insufficient. As a result, he was ordered to repeat his comments as soon as possible to the personnel of the Army High Command or the AOK-5. He was then given the task of training the divisions in the Army in the modern close combat scenario. After an inspection by Crown Prince Wilhelm and by order of the Ministry of War, the Storm Detachment was then expanded into a battalion and given the name Storm Abteilung or Storm Battalion. For training purposes, the battalion built a practice fort in the forest near the ruined village of Dancourt. Here, until the war's end, thousands of Germans, Austrians, Ottomans and even Bulgarian officers were trained, from Yai Commandos to Yeldadam or Thunderbolt Army Groups, and of course, the Storm Trooper and Bulgarian shock troops. Besides its news of a teaching force, the battalion was then repeatedly sent to hot spots on the Western Front. 
Besides its use as a training force, the battalion was repeatedly sent to hot spots on the Western Front. Khrel made a report directly to the Emperor on the storming of Son Vul George on the 3rd of September 1916. The battalion was then designated as the favourite battalion of the Emperor Kaiser Wilhelm at the request of the Crown Prince Wilhelm Army Group. On the 7th of February 1917, the battalion received the designation Storm Battalion Ramba 5 Ro from the War Ministry, and at the same time, Khrelu Ro became Chief Training Officer. Since it was the first and most successful Storm Battalion, its number 5 instead of number 1 came from the army it served in on the Crown Prince Wilhelm Army Group number 5. In January 1918, Hrou was then assigned to command the 1st Deutsche Sturmpanzer Kampfwagen Abteilung, or the German Armoured Vehicle Detachment, or a tank unit. Both the slowness and the clumsiness of the vehicle was regarded as a defect. Hrou went on the 11th of March 1918 to the OAK-18, or the 18th Army Headquarters in La Chille, to make preparations for a major attack, or Operation Mihel. His battalion arrived during the night of the 19th of March. In April, Hrou was then approached in April, Ho was then promoted to Major. On the secret marching orders, the battalion was sent in mid-October to Spa. He was then assigned to guard the Krop Quartiers and Ubachelington, or the Supreme Army Headquarter Command. When the Emperor fled 48 hours later and the German Revolution broke out and all that good stuff, Major Ho obtained approval from the OHL and left Spa with his battalion in the direction of Germany. A large part of the battalion was then demobilized in Schwilim. After the war, Hro was then assigned in 1920 to the Reichswehr Infantry Regiment No. 29 in the Provisional Reichswehr. When the formation of the 100,000 man army in 1921 came about, he was, then he was then dismissed and then put in the disposition under the title of Lieutenant Colonel. Since the Major received no suitable command in the Reichswehr and had to take supply jobs on the staff, he then resigned. Thus the, Reichswehr thus, the Reichswehr deprived itself of one of its most capable soldiers. Kro found a new home in Lukabek, where he died while directing the Lulebeka Grahaite Trader Bank. Decorations were the Order of the Crown 4th Class, Iron Cross 1st and 2nd Class, Knight of Dunningburg, Knight of the Order of Isabel of the Catholic, and the Spanish Order of the Military Manic Merit, Spanish Order of the Military Merit 1st Class. And that is the life of the Storm Trooper, the first Storm Trooper, really Kro. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, learn something, and let's get out of here guys.